Hello everyone, this is JP from CRC Robotics. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to unmount a BeanBot motor because uh, some of you have sent us emails telling us that uh, your BeanBot motors weren't uh, rotating at the same speed, so I'll teach you how to fix this problem. First of all, you have to unmount the gearbox, the planetary gearbox, so you have to unscrew the screws. There's one. Something that's very common is some screws are harder than the others. If that this happens, please don't over over strengthen the the screws. Just take another, and the other one will quite weirdly unscrew itself or something. It will be less hard on the other when when you come back to it later. That's pretty much. So there you go, we've unmounted this, and then probably the, the problem that is happening is that you've got three parts on the, on the, the motor. You have the, the planetary gearbox here with the shaft, these are two parts, and you have the motor with, uh, with the gear here. Uh, Probably the problem is that the gear isn't enough into the, the little shaft of the motor. So what you have to do is take something, I, I like to take uh, this thing, and just hammer it in place. So hammer it a little bit, and then you just have to put it back on. If this doesn't work, what you can do is take the shaft off the planetary gearbox, and afterwards you you have to take away the washer and then you can push the gears out of there. So this is the insides of the beast, the planetary gearbox. Uh, be careful, this is very greasy, so uh, be sure to have uh, scot towels or something uh, <laughs> near yourself. Uh, so you can just unmount everything. And uh, basically, uh, every little gear is the same, so you don't have to worry about uh, putting the the right ones into the right place. But the little thing here, these ones, there are three with a gear under it, and one with a hole under it. So this one isn't the same. So this one with the hole under it goes to the bottom. So you just have to put back, put back the gears on it, and then you put a plate on, take it there, put it back on, and you put the gears on too, and then you put the fourth one, and then it's not a part of pleasure, but you have to put it back and realign all 21 of the gears. I uh, said so 21 because uh, there's a gear inside of, of it too. Uh, so uh, basically there there's a way to do it with the side with the little grooves here. Uh, there's a little groove and there's the sticker. Uh, goes on the bottom. So basically you just have to uh, try spinning around and uh, basically it will sometime just go into it if you push enough and try hard enough so basically goes like that and then well the if you want to do it please don't <laughs> well uh, actually if you have to do it do it but if you don't have to do it don't because uh, it's a real pain in the butt to do. So, basically, oh, I've got it. Okay. So, once you're done, you just have to put the washer back onto the top, uh, the side where the gears are. So, there are four gears. You protect it with a washer. Then, you take the shaft and put it on the other side where the, the hole for the shaft is. You align the shaft, you align this, the little screws, the black screws, and then you just have to put the motor 
right there. Uh, you can align the four holes here just to have uh, more mounting uh, solidness and then you just screw them back. So uh, that's how you unmount and remount a Bainbot motor.